everybody. I'm Tammy from Take Me to Tammy's House. Welcome to my channel. I have been out doing my favorite hobby, going to thrift stores and yard sales. I was not successful in finding any yard sales, but I went to my favorite thrift store, the America's Thrift Store, and I went Friday and I found some pretty cool stuff. So let's just get right into it and I'll show you what I got. I got this real cute planter and it's some type of pottery and it's got three little frogs that sit on the ledge of it. It was $1.99 and there's nothing on the bottom, no marks anywhere, but I thought it would be real cute with a house plant in it or maybe some bamboo. I'm going to fix it up somehow to sit in my, on my patio this summer. So I got that. Then I got this, and I think it's a soap dish. It's got the clear crack of glass, and it's got a little footed silver bottom, and it came from Marshalls. It sold for $4.99. Says it was made in India, but I gave $1.99 for it. That was a little high for me, but I wanted it. I thought it'd be pretty with some decorative soaps in it to sit on the vanity. So I went ahead and got it. Then I got these three pretty, I call them candle holders, but they may not be candle holders. They may be toothpick holders. There was three of them. They were 99 cents a piece and they look old or vintage. There was the green one. Here's the pretty blue one. And then there's this pretty amber one. I love the detail on them. But when I tried to put a tea light in them, they really would not fit. Now, I don't have a regular wax tea light. I have the battery operated ones from Dollar Tree, and it won't fit down in it. So, I don't know if a regular tea light will fit in it. The bottom looks like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a picture of these to Michelle Levinson. Her channel is Thrifting 101 and let her take a look and see what she thinks they are. So I was happy to get those. Then I found some useful things things I can use. These are Corel plates. There was two of them. I love this design that's around the edge. It's like vines and flowers. This is a luncheon plate or a salad plate. Just the perfect size if I want some chips and a sandwich for lunch. I gave 99 cents a piece. They're brand new. And I've really never seen this pattern before. It says it's Bella Fienza. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, I got two. And they're in perfect shape. So I was glad to get those. I got this pretty pink striped dish towel. I love it. It makes me think of the 50s. It's a little dingy, but I will put it in with some oxy powders and maybe some borax and brighten it up. It's got the little thing here to hang it. It's a pretty big towel, 100% cotton. So I can add that to my dish towel collection. The next thing was my favorite thing I got. It's this rose print. I think I got it upside down. I think that's the way it goes. But I love it. I love these antique looking roses, this pink, and this red and the little green leaves. This size is a little bigger than a five by seven. And it has written on the inside, I can read it just a little bit. It says litho in USA. But I just thought it was real pretty. It'll be pretty to set out for Mother's Day or just for the spring. It's got a little damage right there, but I can glue that back down. So I was real happy to get that can't wait to use it. Then I picked up just a black trim mirror for 99 cents. 
I would use this in layering on shelves to put like some type of figurine or something behind in front of it and this behind it. And it's a pretty big mirror and I thought it was a good deal at 99 cents. Then I got these little paper tissue fans. There's two blue ones and a package of two striped ones. I thought I could use these for a birthday party or some barbecue or get together this summer. The only article of clothing I got was this real pretty blue jean skirt. It come from Kato's. I've already washed it. It's got real pretty pockets on the back and it's pretty long. It's got this down the front. It's got a little split in the back. Now for modesty, I can always put a safety pin in that or just tack it down with some thread if it comes up too high. But I was excited about getting that blue jean skirt. I've been wanting one. Okay. I have one more item to show you. I don't know exactly what this is, but I remember as a child, which I mean, I know what it is. It's, it's Jesus on the cross, but I don't know uh, if it's supposed to be just a figurine or a lamp or, a, or maybe a candle holder. But as a child, we would go on vacation to Florida and in the souvenir shops, I would see these. And I thought they were so pretty. This has got the shells, and this is like a pottery underneath. And it's got this one shell upside down. It's real dirty. I'm going to take a soft toothbrush and clean it up, dust the shells and everything. And this here is plastic. Jesus on the cross is plastic. But these are real shells. So I thought it was real cute. Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of what Christ did on the cross for me. And I was glad to get it. It was a dollar. It was half price. The blue tags were half price. So I got that for a dollar. So I think that's all I've got. Uh, I had a real good time at the thrift store, but they just didn't have a lot out. I guess they're cleaning out from Christmas and still trying to reorganize. But I'll go back and I'll always be on the search for something neat. Well, thank you for watching tonight. If you like this video, if you would give it a thumbs up, that would be great. I'll see you next time. Bye.